So we're heading to Ometepe Island today. We'll have to take a ferry to get over there. Everyone has suggested this place and it sounds super magical and we're just really excited. Everything's rocking about. Now, on this map of Central America, we've made it all the way to this lake here where there's two volcanoes in the middle on the island of Ometepe. Right over there. You have to go through a little bit of shaky boat ride to get there. Sombrita doesn't like the boat? No. Why? We immediately tried to go under the van. Oi! Sombrita! Are you scared? Okay, get your thing. Come lay down by me. We love the fresh lake air on the ferry. Here we are, pulling into Ometepe. Yay! excited it's a magical place just an island with two huge volcanoes on it and we found a free spot for the first night because we're tired and then after the free spot our friends have showed us a place to stay that has a whole bunch of really cool restaurants it seems like a really amazing place we're so excited to check it out but it turns out that the free place we found for our first night here was actually recommended by a Nicaraguan uh, a couple weeks ago for having a really long sandbar that goes out into the lake so hopefully you can walk that tomorrow morning i think it should cool down at night here be about the same temperature as where we were in popoyo and hopefully with a nice breeze again so well, we're still new here the island but that volcano is about an eight hour hike I guess seven to eight sounds pretty epic and pretty difficult but look at that beauty uh, climate We're gonna go check out a hostel Richie and Steve suggested. It's supposed to be pretty hippie with their own communal garden. They have volunteers that come and work there. And they also have a vegan family dinner. Super stoked. Hopefully we can sign up for that and it'll be a good night.
to work on a video, so found this cool beach spot here. Wi-Fi, electricity, and only get the island. I'll take a dog for a walk here on the beach. Mama! That would be Maderas, one of two volcanoes on the island. And you can't see the other one over there, but Nice beach, all right. Not a bad spot to do a little work. having a van here and being able to zip around the island check it out wherever we want all day and there's supposed to be a circus performance over in that area tonight probably check out it's pretty, pretty sick okay so we're gonna head to the Ometepe last circus performance today Richie and Steve told us to check out the Facebook page for Ometepe Island and that's where we learned that the circus members are disbanding tomorrow so this is their last performance, so it's bound to be a good one. tracks going up a steep hill it turns out the van didn't have enough speed stops wheels are spinning so I think I'm gonna put it in park get out take a peek the homie jumps out too we're both outside of the car and the van starts moving without me in there that was the scariest moment I've had in a long time with the van I jumped back in the van to put the brakes on and it had already stopped by itself it just went shh, shh. And, you know, I messed up because when you got the parking brake on, you gotta let the brake off slowly, let it transition to the new method of stopping. And I think that's where I messed up. Whew, never gonna make that mistake again. Glad everybody's okay. We met some new friends at the hostel and asked if they wanted to go kayaking with us today. We found a place to go kayaking on iOverlander and there's a river not far that you can kayak down and check out some cool birds, caimans. Oh, it's gonna be really fun. So we're out here on the Istian River in Ometepe Island. There's a volcano on either side. We're going straight down the middle of the island um, Emily's paddling a very straight line right now and uh, we're not turning the wrong way all of a sudden and we got our friends over here 
So he knows all about these birds. It's been very nice. And we got the dog on board. This tree. I can hear the music. Yeah. We just got back to the vans. Super excited to hear the circus is coming to hang out there last time. So we get to watch the circus again for free. Wow, I just chose the closest kayaking spot to the river. Didn't know it would turn out to be such a beautiful place. We even got the kayaks for $5 each. Unlimited time. This turned out so great, we convinced our friends to stay here until the sunset, hang out with the circus, and then Snow and Kurt are coming in. We told them, hey, come on over here. Can't wait to be double vanning again. Fish is here. Yes. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Gracias. So this is the Snow and Kurt Bird Challenge. Yes. For us to find the. Yeah. Uh, new, <laughs> yeah. What's it called? All right. It's, this is the Mot Mot. We have issued a, a challenge to you guys. This is a very distinct looking bird, fairly easy to spot, and you've got to find one. Yeah. And they're around. They're here. Yeah. We'll find it. We'll yeah. try. Yeah, we got plenty of animals here. <laughs> and if they're not here, they're, they're in Costa Rica. Yeah, so you'll, yeah. yeah. I mean, you might, I doubt you'll find one today. You might. That would mm -hmm. be sweet. Then we would issue bird challenge number two. Yeah. <laughs> be careful, this is like Duolingo. <laughs> He's cool in the he goes kitchen. in the kitchen. <laughs> Mostly worried that there was a crocodile nearby, but I think we can do it. Yeah, I mean we'll be careful. And we can get out. I'm sure if we get stuck, we'll just push a little or whatever. We'll be fine. I mean, I feel like I want to know what's in there, flipping around in that little spot. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the river. That's sad. <laughs> huh? I guess that concludes the river then. 
Yeah, like you can paddle backwards pretty easy. I realized this yesterday. Oh, what? What a maneuver, Kurt. You're killing it. You seem like you've kayaked a lot, honestly. You have, huh? In Florida. I'm really glad we stayed a couple nights at the kayaking spot. I think that was one of my favorite spots of all time. Howler monkeys up in the trees, bunch of birds, and there was a horse that would just walk around, a cow. They had pigs, cats, dogs, chicken, turkeys, and a parrot. So it was just such a beautiful, natural place, and we really loved it. Plus, they let us stay for free. over to a spot with Snow and Kurt to watch the sunset and we're hopefully going to get some Wi-Fi because we need to finish up our paperwork for Costa Rica! They just found a doodle bug. <laughs> Me and Kurt are here chilling on these cool chairs. And they're catching doodle bugs over there. Off the yeah. Kurt got to chatting with the guy in charge here, and he knew how to book the ferry with a phone call. So we're taking the ferry together off the island. Well, they say leave it all on the field. Island on empty. Gas is expensive here. We made it count. Our van and snow and Kurt. Look at this. This guy. Oh my god, there's some cows here. That is crazy. Goodbye, beautifuls. That is a tall van. <laughs> Leaving the island of Ometepe behind, but we're having one last beer with Kurt and Snow. Yeah. Ooh. Thanks for having us in your van. Great times in Ometepe. What an amazing weekend. Thanks to our awesome scouts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah. We had some good spots. We had some good spots. All right, everybody, take it easy. Cheers. All right, cheers. <laughs> After spending six days in Ometepe and not getting gas the whole time, Finally got back to mainland and the gas light went on. Good timing! I can see it in my rear view mirror. Concepcion. Uh, we miss it already. Thanks for watching our Ometepe video. We're, unfortunately, this is our last video in Nicaragua. Oh no! We're heading into Costa Rica next time, so I hope to see you guys for our border crossing. And make sure to like and subscribe! <laughs>